I broke up with someone on Valentine's Day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I'm so curious. we, well, first of all, like I had been wanting to kind of end it right. for a while. But then I woke up that morning and he was like hung over in my bed, fucking not even like I knew for a fact that he had not ordered flowers. He had not done oh. shit. Well, that's a little different. And that's because he screwed up. It's well, not no, not even he screwed up. Like it was Valentine's Day that made me realize I deserve better. Anyways, I was dating this amazing guy. When I say amazing, I mean amazing. Like we were together together one day we decided to post each other and become instagram official and post on instagram that was the day that my relationship went from this to this <laughs> so after we've posted everyone is congratulating us i mean my instagram at the time was popping and i mean people are saying oh you guys make a cute couple and i thought oh here yeah, getting married now anyway so this guy had just came out of a long-term relationship so things were a bit tricky and during the relationship you know i felt that there was somebody in the relationship not physically but spiritually there you know in the relationship Anyways, it's time for Valentine's Day and at the time, you know, I was like a hopeless love romantic and I wanted to give him like the best Valentine's Day ever. We decide that we're going to go to a restaurant and, you know, I buy him a cap, I buy him like cologne and I buy him like a few like mini and you know, like socks and things like that. When I got to the restaurant, we sat down. When we sat, the first thing he says is like, we have to talk. I'm like, um, okay, talk about what? He tells me, I'm still in love with my ex. I'm still in love with my ex. Guys, imagine on Valentine's Day, he tells me after a few months of dating that he's still in love with his ex. Anyways, the cap that I bought had his initials written on it, okay? And me being distraught and whatever, I started crying and I left and I left the gift there. Hey, man, a few days later, as I'm on Instagram, I see a boy that we both follow each other wearing the cap. Wearing the cap that I bought. I did a bit of digging. That was the ex. Back together. My heart, guys, my heart. So... If you didn't receive anything for Valentine's Day, you're good. At least you were not dumped on that day. <laughs> so, 2019, February 14, we planned our vow, the first vow together with him. And we planned it because we had no money, just little money. So, we planned to get red wine and barbecue. So, he said he wanted to do it to show me how much he appreciates and love me blah 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 because i've been the one feeding him and all that is always coming to my house to eat and all that and he just wanted to show and appreciate how much he loves me i thought that was, that was what i thought not what he said so we agreed on that so on february 14th i went to work and we closed early my boss said he wanted to take his wife and family out so we closed by 4 p.m and i got home 4 30 he didn't call five he called and he's like who should i should start getting ready and i, I should also tell my roommate to get ready because my roommates don't have any vow on that day so he wanted to take both of us out and we're shouting and hyping him you know someone that has not done anything for me before just and he wants to like show off so we're hyping him and all that and we, we quickly took our bath and got ready and i decided to run to the next compound to go fix my nails and also my ally i'm also eyelash with my friend so we got there by six he called me like he's coming and i'm like okay i was done with mine and i told my friend let me quickly rush and go delay him before your show with yours okay so i got there by 6 30 he called me that he's at home 
so i was close to the house and i quickly went there to delay him and i saw him leaving the compound he was with his friend so i called him and i asked him um where are you going to and he said um it seems i have a vow that i've already gone to celebrate my own vow with someone else and so that he's going home i was like you should have just waited a little or let me explain and he's like he doesn't need any explanation and all that that he can say that we've already gone out to celebrate our vow and all that that i can't have two vow in the same day so he's going home and i shouldn't bother calling him because he's no more interested <laughs> that was how he broke up with me so. and this was also our first valentine's like not being single so i was really excited i was so excited so i made him chocolate covered strawberries i got him a new football jersey and then i got him like a playstation controller and just a bunch of snacks like i got him a lot of things that part doesn't necessarily matter but just to say that i was super excited since it was our first one together i thought my boyfriend was excited too and i thought he was just being sly so i didn't directly tell him like oh plan a dinner get me flowers just because i don't know i just didn't think to tell him because i thought he would do it and throughout the week, I thought he was just being sly and trying to play it off, but he kept saying, like, Babe, I really didn't get you much. Like, I really didn't plan anything. So then I just thought he was joking. Like, I didn't take it literally. I learned very quickly that the man was not joking. He picks me up, and then I give him the card that I got him because it was super cute. And then afterwards, he's like, Okay, where should we go get food? And I was just like, Oh man, he was not kidding. So then that bummed me out because I was like, oh, he really didn't plan anything. But then I was like, it's fine. We can just go to a Korean restaurant because that just happened to be like the one place that wasn't too, too busy because it was literally Valentine's Day. So we had our meal. Everything was great. Loved the food. It was a good time. And then my boyfriend was like, so what should we do afterwards? And I was just like, I can't think of anything. Everything's probably busy. So let's just go back to your house and just chill and open our gifts and watch a movie. But during the whole car ride back to his house, I was just spiraling because I was like, oh my gosh, he really didn't do anything. He really didn't plan anything. Like, he didn't even get me a card, I don't think. Like, I, I really, I didn't need anything physically, but I was like, he didn't do anything thoughtful. So I was just making myself more and more upset. But then he opened up his gifts first and he loved them, which made me so happy because I just love buying him gifts. But then it was his turn. So the man hands me a Target bag and you'll never guess what was in that Target bag. But he gave me this picture frame, this exact picture frame. But notice something, there's not a photo in here. So the idea was there, but he just didn't know how to put a picture in the frame. So he just didn't. So then that made me super upset, but then I just personally did not tell him. So I was just upset the whole night. I just got dumped on Valentine's Day. So I had a date with one of my girlfriends. So we were supposed to go get some cocktails and dinner uh, somewhere along uh, Mombasa Road at Signature Mall. And when I was doing my makeup, you can see guys I had done, okay, not really like had like put gel on my brows and put some foundation on and some concealer to start my makeup showered even put on a red nice cute dress she tells me that she has a date at seven and right now it's six so if i have to start getting ready do my makeup and get there which is not it's like uh let's say 15 minutes from where i stay it's going to take me like um i'll be there a few minutes to seven so what is the use of going so yeah i just got dumped for a dinner date by a friend so 